I'm Stubby Mashed Potatoes. Welcome to LARPgasm. I just want to take some time to talk about economies in game. Now, uh, I don't know what your particular game is like, but the game I'm at now, the economy is kind of broken. For a few years, things have been broken, and uh, they've just sort of gone downhill from there. Now, what do I mean by broken? H have you ever played a video game where you start out and you have no money, or maybe a tabletop game and you have no stuff, and then towards the end, or maybe the middle of the game, you have so much money and so much stuff that there's nothing to buy, and you're already geared out, so the game sort of loses a lot of its fun. Let's face it, a big part of role-playing is acquiring crap. It's a very materialistic thing in most games. Not all games, but most. The game really feeds our need for materialistic things. You always want better weapons. When you go into town, where's the first place you go? The blacksmith, the magic shop, the tavern. These are the places you go as soon as you walk into town. If you play a cyberpunk game, then it's the gun store or something. You're always looking for the next best thing or the next biggest thing. Ladies, you're always trying to get the score, trying to get the money, trying to get one over on a drag and get his treasure hoard. It doesn't even matter if you're a dwarf. You want gold, gold, gold. I mean, your ideals are more lofty than that. You're here to protect the innocent because you're a paladin and you want to save the damsel in distress. But guess what? You're going to need money to do that. And you're going to need gear to do that. And when all your stuff gets broken, you're going to need money to fix it. How are you going to eat? How are you going to drink? You need money for everything. Money is the root of all evil. And it carries over into fantasy from reality, unfortunately. It's just what it's us. And uh, that's what we're here to do. Now, in this game, the economy is kind of broken. All the characters can basically make all of the gear that they need to, which means a lot of people become a lot of classes that make no sense for their character to be. So, like, for instance, I'm a paladin, and I have these lofty ideals, and I want to help people, but what I really want is a plus damage sword of smiting. Well, adventuring and wandering around, you could run this realm for 20 years of real life and never find a plus 2 sword, let alone that plus 10. So, that's part of the problem. And uh, so what you need to do is become a blacksmith and make it yourself. And a lot of people do that with a lot of things. They make potions, they make armor, all that stuff, and it is what it is. Sorry if I seem shifty, but there are some mundanes wandering around the path behind me, and I fucking hate mundanes. People out on nature hikes walking their dogs, riding horses. I can't really stop them, so I just have to let them go past here. I know a lot of you LARPers like, really enjoy them and like to tell them about what you're doing and be all happy-go-lucky, but I straight hate them. If this was fantasy and I had weapons, I'd kill them and bury them in the woods. You pay to rent these places, there should be no one here besides other nerds and goofballs so you don't have to feel awkward. Maybe I'll cover that in a later video, awkwardness in gaming and keeping your secret hobby closeted. Anyways, about the economy. Uh, uh, I forget where I was going with this. These muggles messed me all up and got my head spinning. But anyhow, yeah. How you doing, asshole? You messed me all up and got fucking mug. Oh god, don't come over here. Just take a deep breath. Okay, good. So you want to make money. A lot of people do uncharacteristic things to make this happen. Some people even sell out-of-game items like food and drinks or costumes for in-game money. They sell tunics, shirts, pants, all that stuff. Some people make bar for weapons because some people can't duct tape pool noodles real good. So they make them for them and sell them. And uh, other things. One particular group I know uh, makes drinks. And uh, groups that sell food or drink are nice because if you play a heavy drinker, they save you having to lug your own drink and stuff around. Some of these merchants are nice and add immersion, and a lot of these merchants make a killing on in-game coin. Because if you have a LARP where it's very stingy, and you don't have much to spend money on because everyone makes their own stuff, and you rarely, if ever, find items, so you have pockets full of coins with nothing better to spend it on than bowls of soup and fake drinks. 
So in this particular game, if you have enough money, like tons of money, more than if realistically imaginable by normal character, then you can buy special stuff. So that plus 10 sort of smiting, you'll never find it. But if you have a couple hundred gold lying around, you well, know, you can probably find some place to buy one. But that is very costly. And unless you're selling stuff in game, it could take you 10 years of real life adventuring to uh, you know, accrue that kind of gold. And no normal person would ever spend that kind of money. Now, most games don't allow for transfer of real-world money directly into in-game, but that's basically what this does. You spend $20 on food, then sell it in the game for 50 gold or something. And there is no real in-game mechanics to permit this at some LARPs. Like, you don't have to have a merchant skill. You can just set up shop and profit. That's all. And if there's one thing I know about most gamers, is they like to eat and eat. So I bring this up. So if you want, maybe you can consider doing this type of thing at your LARP as a get-rich-quick thing. But I personally don't care for it unless there's an in-game mechanic for it. And it makes sense to that person's character to sell stuff. So if you want to make more money in a broken economy, sell weapons, armor, costumes, spell packets, sell food. Buy like the dog food grade beef stew they sell at the dollar store and dirt cheap stuff. And sell it in-game for gold. People love it. They eat that shit up. And then you can just sit back and laugh because they're eating that crap. You're not going to touch it. That's for other people. Um, make drinks and sell drinks. People are always thirsty. It's the middle of summer. People in metal armor swing their asses off. You better believe they'll buy cold drinks from you. They're not going to want to drink some nasty bubonic camp water that has higher mineral content than licking a bar of rusty iron. Trust me, you'll sell them. So consider doing something like that in your game to make some money. Me? I don't do that. And I should probably take my own good advice, but at some LARPs, all those bases are already covered, so it's hard for a newcomer to break into the market unless you have an angle. I may work on something, but probably not because it's not my character. Uh, so, until next time, please subscribe, click like, and remember, as always, adventure on. Bilbo! Hmm? Here. This is about your size. Hmm. I, I, I can't take this. But the receiver is elvish make. Which means it'll glow blue when there's orcs or goblins nearby. I've never used a gun in my life. And I hope you never have to. But if you do remember this, true courage is not about knowing when to take a life, but when to take all of them.